Over the last year, we have constantly seen small leaks of new anti-cheat systems for Counter-Strike 2. In most cases, they just fix certain cheat functions, but sometimes there were hints of the development for a completely new protective layer. And today, the developers announced the start of testing for the new VACnet 3.0 anti-cheat based on a limited data set of matches. And if you think that your match has been stopped or you have been banned unreasonably, you need to send an email to the CSGO team feedback. Also, the developers have blocked the use of a new hyped feature called SnapTap. In a nutshell, it helped to perfectly counter strafe to instantly restore shooting accuracy. But along with this, they blocked the use of absolutely all multi binds, such as jump throws and null bind. The developers decided that they do not want professional players to have any in game advantage over new players just because they know how to use the console. In their opinion, all functions should be native and available to absolutely everyone in the game settings. And while you have time, check out Skins Monkey. Use code GABEN and get up to a $5 bonus. Select a few of your current skins, pick a new one in the same price range, and exchange your old and ugly CSGO items to something new and shiny from Counter-Strike 2. Use code GABEN and buy skins much cheaper with a 30 plus 5% top-up bonus. The very first version of VACnet was launched in 2017 and announced in 2018. It is based on many modules, but the developers advertised it as an innovative method of fighting cheaters with a constantly retrained neural network. I think that with the transition to the new engine, the developers updated VACnet to the second version and fixed everything necessary during the last year. For example, in the last update, new lines related to suspicious shots appeared. And now, since they have announced Overwatch for trusted partners, apparently the anti-cheat is finally ready to move to the third version. I have no idea if Overwatch worked before and if the second version wasn't good enough. Without mentioning its existence, I hope that we will see a significant improvement in the cheating situation in the near future. In addition to the previous video about keychains, Pogu managed to force the creation of charms on weapons in workshop tools, and now we can see how exactly it will work. Apparently, the community will not be able to create their own keychains. This is proved by the ability to choose the rarity of the item, and usually such settings are available to developers only. Nevertheless, we can fully compile the keychain by selecting a preview picture and model for it. After successful compilation, it will appear in the list of all workshop items, which means that the system is almost ready and we will see keychains sooner than later. You can see a visual example of how it might look on a short video created by Saturn. Well, and let's not forget that there is a new mention of Danger Zone. In a few words, nothing that big or important, but even such small leaks bring excitement and let's hope that the developers have not forgotten about this mode, as new, interesting mechanics, items and weapons were found in previous leaks. Meanwhile, MapCore announced the end of the first stage of the competition called Big Adventures. The goal of the competition is to create a unique map from scratch based on a given topic. Almost 60 maps passed to the second round and now the participants will begin to polish and create visuals of their maps. The winners will receive a cash prize, merch from Valve and a chance to get into the game as the developers have always looked into the finalist maps of such competitions. And according to the website GameDiscover.co, in the first half of 2024, Valve earned 610 million bucks on in-game purchases in Counter-Strike 2. So they chose the most appropriate time to announce anti-cheat. Leave a comment with a carrot emoji if you watched this far and be sure to check out the previous video where I talk about keychains and software.